I think the Senate. I minutes. think the Senate. Well, uh, let, let us understand what's happening here, Senators. Uh, we are already having backgrounded to media, to late on last night and Sky today, what the Senate will be doing. Uh, there are media already being told to prepare for the Prime Minister's announcement uh, because guillotine and gag will be moved here in this chamber to get the bills on and voted on. So I want the crossbench to be very clear what, what you're being asked to do. You are being asked to run this chamber so as to accord with Mr Abbott's media schedule. Mr Abbott's media schedule. Now, regardless of what your views on carbon are, and I respect, I respect, as I said to Senator Lazarus yesterday, I disagreed with his speech, but I respect his right to put it. I respect his right to put it. I respect the fact that you have differences of views on the substance of the matter. But I utterly object, as does every member, senator on this side, to this chamber of the Australian Parliament being used, being used as a plaything of the Prime Minister. As a plaything of the Prime Minister. What an outrage that we would have uh, the Senate, the Senate being asked to gag and guillotine. Uh, legislation so Mr Rabbit can do a press conference tomorrow in time for prime time television. That's what's occurring. And where do senators in this parliament find this out? Do we find this out because the leader of the government comes in and, and tells us what we want to do, what, what they want to do? No, we find out because Late Line is told last night to expect, expect an announcement. And we find out because Sky tweets out that they've been told by the government Oh, expect the bills to be voted on by 12.45 today. Understand what a disgrace this is. What a disgrace this is. Utterly disgraceful running the Australian Parliament entirely about the Prime Minister's media schedule. And I want everyone in this chamber to understand what the opposition was prepared to put on the table in the interests of proper practice, in the interests of ensuring this Senate does what Australians expect us to do. We said very clearly after the meeting that the leader of the government held yesterday that we were prepared to give up our time tomorrow, time when we would debate a Labor bill, and our time tomorrow afternoon when we would debate uh, a topic that Labor put to the chamber. We were prepared to give that up to ensure a committee stage of the debate in this legislation. A committee stage of the debate in this legislation. And as Senator Xenophon, and I trust he will not mind me using, I'm sorry I'm saying nice things about you, Nick, not bad ones. Uh, as Senator Xenophon has put, the committee stage is a very important part of Senate practice. It is where ministers are asked questions. It is where undertakings are given. It is where there is clarification about the interpretation of the application of legislation is put. It is the only context in this parliament where that is able. It is the only time in this parliament where that is truly able to be done. And I say that as someone who was a minister on that side for a number of years. This is where that real work is done. This is where that real work was done. Uh, and, uh, 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 and I remind those uh, opposite, whatever criticisms you might have of us, you are guillotining when you were offered more time. You are not guillotining and gagging because it's the end of the session, you have to get bills through. Uh, you know, whatever criticism people may have of that. You're guillotining now on a Wednesday so that Tony Abbott can hold a minister prime ministerial press conference in time for prime time television tomorrow. That is what is occurring. It is an absolute disgrace and really demonstrates the arrogance of this government. The arrogance of this government that you would not even allow a committee stage in a debate when you have been given more time. You have been given more time, so be clear. You have been given more time. Uh, to enable that debate to occur, time that the opposition has given up in order to ensure a proper process, in order to ensure there is a committee stage of this debate, in order to ensure that, that the amendments that the Palmer United Party, the Labor Party and any other crossbench senator uh, can move. And you have said you have spat in the face of that offer and you have said, you know what, we don't want a debate. We just want a media conference, and we're going to run the Senate. We're going to run the Senate in time for the media, and we will not even do the Senate the courtesy of telling senators what our proposition is. We're going to go out and background the media ahead. We're going to go and background the media ahead. What an utter disgrace, Mr. A Mr. President! What an utter disgrace about how to handle this chamber. And I say to the crossbench: Do not start 
Do not start this new Senate uh, supporting such a disgraceful